how deep would you would you Not say the rest a centimetre so that okay. added rises is very very good okay we're just going to put this yorkshire put in the oven this will take about 40 minutes to cook 40 yeah. minutes about, about does, 40 minutes how long does the sausage um mixture take this can take from 40 minutes to two hours how you know once the sausage is cooked it's edible but the longer it takes, like a curry, the longer yeah. it is, the better it gets, the more flavour you develop. So if you, so if you want to do something for a couple of hours, you can forget about it and be ready. So this Yorkshire pudding now has been cooked for 40 minutes. Which, nice crispy Yorkshire pudding. And that's the best way to check, just that you can sort of... Yeah, it comes away from the, from the side. A bit hot this one. What you could do, you could serve it in the dish itself. Or like I'm going to do now, we're just going to serve it on the side. It's like gorgeous, isn't it? Those bright yellow egg yolks again, mm. nice little colour. So to serve the actual uh, sausage casserole. So this has been cooking for 40, about an hour. So hopefully that's what we're looking for. Nice, dewy consistency. Sausages are cooked. So in this bowl, I'm going to get some of the lentils mm. out. It does smell like vinegar as well. Yeah, really it's nice. a, the vinegar just cuts through the, 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 the fat of the, of the sausages. Yeah. You don't have to put vinegar in if you don't want, but I just think no, it gives nice. you that like little that. bit of acidity, yeah. something a little bit different. So was this actually something your mum did? Yeah, sausage casserole, we used to have it every Friday. I remember coming back from school, did you? we'd always have sausage casserole every Friday. You know, so Is it funny how, you know, in those days, makes you sound really old, yeah, really in old. those days, you always used to, you know, your mum always used to have, you know, we always used to have fish on a Thursday. Always we had a day for I something. don't know, I used to always think, yeah, Friday, sausage casserole yeah. day. I don't know, it was a bit strange. No, but it is as a child, I think you, you grab the comfort of those things, don't you? Mm. Oh, I see. So I think, very different to Toad and Hole, but you still got that Yorkshire pudding as a comfort zone for the, for the kids. Okay, the most important bit is just going to change your mind. Oh, Shall I just divvy it up a little bit, Sarah? Yeah, good. Have a Looks nice. nice. Taste. Hopefully it tastes good as well. Nice sausages. Good sausage. The key, oh, okay. good sausage castle, you've got, you've got to have good sausages. So has that, has that changed your life? This, um, do you think it'll change your family's life, Sarah? I'll certainly, I'll certainly be cooking it, try them out with yeah. you. Mm. Mm. For Bryn's recipe, pick up some good quality Cumberland sausages from your local butcher. You'll also need to buy banana shallots, tomatoes, carrots, cider vinegar, thyme and brown stock. You can buy pre-lentils from most organic stores. For the Yorkshire pudding, you'll need to purchase flour, eggs, milk and beef dripping.